Now we will be doing an overlap stitch on the center front down to the crotch or rise level. And again we're doing an overlap stitch on the center front of the pan. Now we will be attaching the zipper. We start with the left leg of the pants and we start with attaching the fly front placket. When measuring the zipper length, we actually measure from the upper metal stop to the lower metal stop. And this zipper measures 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Actually, doing a denim pants for a medium figure, the regular zipper length that we want or zipper allowance we put on the fabric is for a 7 inch zipper or 18 centimeters zipper. So now it's good that we have the 8 inch zipper length so that we can also demonstrate how to go about this when your zipper is longer than the required length that we need. Okay, from the waistline, we will go down 7 inches or 18 centimeters. Then we go up 1 half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. So we will end up with a 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters. Okay, we cross this out. This is what we will be using. Okay, so from this mark of 6.5 inches, or 16.5 centimeters, we will go up one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. We will cut this. You see the sewing line? We will just leave one fourth of an inch or 0.6 centimeter sewing allowance until the end of our fabric. Now you see we will be attaching the ply front placket on this area. From this mark of 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters, from the bottom of the placket, more we will more or less go up 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter and pin it here on the mark of 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters. You will see that the edge of the fold of the placket is just aligned on the edge of the sewing allowance of the center front. And we will pin the sewing line of the main pants to the placket. Now we will sew this together. We end on the 6.5 or 16.5 centimeter mark with the needle inside the pants fabric and raising the presser foot. Start sewing straight until the edge of the fabric. Then at the corner, we will snip the corner part. There. Then we turn the placket inwards. If you look at it, we're pinning the reverse L. We're pinning the placket and the seam of the center front together. Okay, you see this fold? The top stitching will start from here and then it will go up to the seam of the center front. Okay, now we are going to be doing the top stitch on the center front of the left leg of the pants. See this corner, letter L? The measurement of this end is 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters. We will mark this end. Then from the edge of this fold or center front, we will go out 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter. 
we will mark this. Then, on the waistline, from this edge, we will go out one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Do you see this corner mark? That will be our guide and this one when we attach the zipper. You see these zippers on the right side? We will turn it over and the bottom metal stop of this side of the zipper should be laid this way. On the corner should be laid on this mark this way. I hope you see this. And the teeth of the zipper should be aligned on this line this way. Okay? Then, we will pin this side of the zipper on the placket. And on this end, we will again align the teeth of the zipper on this mark. But we will be pinning on this side of the zipper, pinning it on the placket. Now, we will be sewing this zipper on the placket. You can use the edge of the zipper as your guide, this one. We will sew one eighth of an inch or 0.3 centimeters away from the edge of this zipper. We lock stitch the start of our stitches. Okay. So now this is the way this will look. Now, from the edge of the zipper, we are marking 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. This is for the top stitching of this area of our zipper attachment. Then, from the corner or on this uh, line, we go down 1 fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter, or we can go down 3 eighth of an inch or 1 centimeter. Then, on the corner, we just make a round curve line. Okay, we will be top stitching this area of our pants. But, make sure that the tail end of the right side of the zipper is not included when we top stitch. We have to fold this this way. Okay. Now we're doing the second top stitching. We can rip this uneven stitching and, and we stitch again but we're really running out of time. Sorry. Now we will connect this fly underlap placket on the zipper on the attached fly front placket. You see this fly front placket? We will align the side with the overlap finish on the same level as the bottom of the fly front placket that has been attached this way okay then you see this zipper we will also align this fly underlap placket on the zipper this way so you see it's aligned here then we will attach the zipper to the fly underlap placket we will align the edge of the fly underlap placket and the zipper and uh, we will sew one eighth of an inch or 0.3 of a centimeter away from the edge of both the fly underlap placket and the zipper. Do you see the crotch line and the inseam line? The markings of the sewing lines here on the left leg of the pants. We will attach the front right leg of the pants and align it on the corner of the crotch sewing line and the inseam sewing line. Then 
On the waistline level, we will mark the corner of the waistline and the center front of the right leg by marking this with a pin to get the corner. Okay? Then we will align this edge of the left leg center front waistline to the right leg center front aligning the center front and waistline corners by pinning them together. Okay? Okay, then just make this flat and just align the sewing line here and the sewing line here. You can see that this is actually at the corner of the bottom of the center front which has a corner here. Now we're pinning together the sewing line of the crotch area. Then we will sew this together starting from the corner downwards. We have to last stitch this. Now, you see where the sewing ended on this corner, we will also cut a straight snip on the very end of the stitch. There. Now we will just leave a 3 8 of an inch or 1 centimeter sewing allowance on the crotch area. Now we will finish the crotch area by overlock stitching. Okay. Remember that we cut this area or the edge of this side. You see this sewing line? We will fold this on the sewing line and pin this this way. Then, on this area, you will see that the fold is actually on the sewing line. But as I said a while ago, we did make a cut here. This is so that we can move. From the sewing line, we will move the fabric out by one-eighth of an inch or three centimeters. And then we will pin it on the zipper. We move the fabric one eighth out so that when we fold the placket this way, the fold of this side doesn't show, okay? The overlap is clean. It doesn't show because if we fold it this way on the sewing line, you will see that there looks like a slit opening here. So we have to put this out one eighth of an inch or three centimeters or a little bit more. You can go out almost one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. So, if you want to see the distance of the fold from the teeth of the zipper, it is like this, okay? To make it easier for us to sew the other side of the zipper, we will be changing the presser foot with a zipper foot. Okay, now we will be sewing together the zipper, the placket, and the main pants. Now we will close the metal pool. And lap stitch the end of the stitches. Now we will double top stitch this crotch area and we will fold the sewing line this way. We will fold the sewing line or seam allowance on this side with the placket on top of the seam allowance or sewing allowance. 
we have to hammer this area to flatten it because it's quite bulky. Okay, we sew until the corner and there's no fear of keeping the zipper stuck because we raised it up by one fourth of an inch or 0.6 of a centimeter. We're doing the second top stitching. As you can see, she's making the edge of the presser foot her guide. Just make sure when you're sewing your top stitching, you do not hit the metal stop. With this, there's no way of hitting the metal stop. It's somewhere here. 